uh, an odd concession speech without any concession. That's one of the weirdest speeches you'll see on an election night. When you've lost an election, better campaign than many thought, but still you've got to concede. You've got to phone the winner of the election. He hasn't done that. He hasn't spoken to David Christopher fully. And that is one of the odder... No, no, that wasn't all. You're, you're, you're being ugly. kind. No, that no, was please. a graceless no, no, ugly please. speech. Let, let me, let me. Right. Okay. Let you go. Me out. No, that, that, that is just not. Ugly. That is not the way it's played. That was, that was tactless. It was showed no grace. And you know, for example, you know, the people around this table this evening have been pretty complimentary about how he's conducted himself in terms of how he campaigned. Well, that was just not good enough. That was shocking. I mean, that like. like that leaves everyone with a very bad taste. And James, your thoughts, yeah. right? That was yeah. one of the most ugly, yeah. graceless yeah. speeches I've ever seen on election night. Yeah. Um, and actually, to me, that summed up the Labor campaign in terms of the ugliness we saw on pre-polls and booths across yeah. Queensland over the, the last few weeks, summed up by that speech. Have the... Have the, the uh, the moral integrity to contact the winner yeah. of the election yeah. and say, I'm conceding, it's not, it's good manners. Um, Anastasia before talked about hoping that Premier Crystal Fully will, will deal um, with, with an opposition. Well, that guy, that was his pitch to stay on as opposition leader. It was ugly, ugly politics. Um, I didn't do that shame. in 2015 Peter when, when Anastasia it from Peter. found at us. Oh, well, you know. I, think, I think we've all had experience on yeah. election night. Oh, I think it waited for a while. It waited to the final electoral commission results. Yeah, but I, you contacted well, me. But, it wasn't yeah, on the night but, from memory. But I, I didn't give a speech like that saying, you know, we, you know, we, we you know, just sort of pre-prosecuting the election campaign and, and sort of bagging... Bagging you, I, I, yeah. I didn't do that. I've, yeah, but look, yeah. let's be honest. Even if a call's not made on an election night, there is calls in between the, the two directors to say the numbers are not clear, um, that we will ha we will speak first, or you won't speak first, or whatever it goes. If you're not clear on an actual concession, but it's always a gracious speech. I mean, so much that goes on behind the scenes on this night between the two sort of camps is about our democracy, right? It's about saying to to Australians who voted, we respect your vote, mm. and this is where we've ended up yep. tonight. Now that 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 was not a gracious speech; that was a thuggish speech. I don't think he he mentioned his predecessor, who's kindly on our panel tonight. Speaking oh, of, you wouldn't expect him to, but obviously. at least pay tribute to your contribution to Queensland. Oh no, this is this is an election between Stephen Miles and David Crisofulli. Uh, you know, I think what he said in terms of what Labor was fighting for, he made very clear. But all I can say is maybe what they are thinking is that they just need the final electoral commission results. Sure, but he could have said that polls. without all the other I, I agree it could have, could have spoken a little bit about David and the campaign and his family. He could well regret that. I mean, I think Beck White yeah. regretted that in Tasmania yeah. when she lost. She, she recently tried something similar and the next morning everyone said, oh, you've lost and you look like a goose, you know. But we are going to so, form a majority government, so that's the way it was, it there was a there was a lie at the beginning of it was that, emphatic. and then it went downhill from there. It started with a lie. This, yes. this is this went, wake up, Alan P. This is this will tell you what sort of opposition yes. he will be. Yep. And this Agreed. idea that you've well, got if he, time if he's to allowed to in, stay you there after that effort. I mean, honestly, that was just tone deaf. I mean, because the thing these guys never realise, because it's all about them. It's about the voter as well, mate. Yeah. The voter has made an adjudication. Respect the voter and concede. I think it was extraordinary, particularly off the back of what has been a good campaign. He ran a fantastic campaign. But then to give that speech, was I found it really odd, Richard. It was, it was as graceless as it was mm. pathetic. I'm not going to defend that. That was a load of crap. And uh, I'm very disappointed. Pat I Norman. think you've got to show... A lot more grace. You've got to be able to cop one on the chin. Mm. Uh, you've got to be able to lose well as well as win well in this game because both of those things will happen to you. Pat Gorman? Yeah, oh, look, I think that was clearly a, uh, a pitch to his colleagues and mm. those in the Labor Party in Queensland. He was clearly saying, I want to stick around and that he thinks he's got a chance of winning it back in four years. That's clearly what is going through his mind. It wasn't... Uh, I don't think it was a speech to all of us on this panel or elsewhere. That was clearly who he was talking to. Um, but I, I, I've got, as I did on this panel half an hour ago, I've got no problem in congratulating David Christofulli as the Premier-elect of Queensland. I, I'm very comfortable and I'm confident that our team 
In Canberra, we'll work closely with him to deliver for Queenslanders, including on continuing to roll out our energy bill relief and other things. Um, I, have, I, I think it's pretty clear where this is where this election has gone and the decision that Queenslanders have made. Mm. I respect that decision. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I think uh, I think what we saw was uh, a pitch for the job of opposition leader. And clearly, uh, he's a fighter. He fought throughout this election campaign, and he wants to keep going. And good on him.